Hey guys, I got my voice back. I'm doing good. Um, I just want to share something with you. It's pretty amazing. It was amazing for me to feel it. And hopefully it's amazing for you as well. I, um, I went to my first live, well, my second live church service, but my first live church service back at my own church um, just now. I mean, like a, this morning. Yay. And it was just the perfect gathering for where I was at right then. It was perfect. I mean, we took communion. It was a, a really different kind of um, service. It was just really cool. Um, so I highly recommend Watermark Church, just so you know. Um, church is the body, not the building. Just saying that. So anyway, I'm always doing commercials. Um, I got to share something I got today. And it, to me, it meant a lot. Maybe it'll mean something to you too. Um, there was... Uh, a moment I had today and it was we did communion and the way they did it today was you get up and you go to the table and you get your your little juice and your little piece of bread you know and um, I did that and there's one piece of bread that got caught in my like the roof of my mouth toward the back where I couldn't get to it without making a loud noise so I kept trying to swallow and I couldn't and finally when I stopped trying it just it loosened up or whatever, and I swallowed, and it was gone. And I started immediately it hit my mind what that could represent in my life. I didn't try to get it to say something to me, but it did say something to me. I, I believe God said something to me. But um, when that happened with the bread, it was like you know when you if you're familiar with communion or not, it's um it's, the bread represents the body of Christ. And, um, and the whole action is means a lot. So I'm not going to do the whole thing, just a little snippet. To me, it's like um, taking in Jesus, taking him into my, my heart. And um, just a, you'd have to know, it's just, it's just a sacrament. It's just, it's really cool. But this time, that one piece of bread didn't go down right away. But when it did, it really came to me that... Um, it was personal, spoken to me, um, that I need, I need to, I need to take Jesus in all the way. So when I, I swallowed that last piece of bread, it was like, you know, the body of Christ or whatever. I need to take in all of Jesus or none of Jesus. And that was like, wow, that's strong. And it was to me. So I mean, I'm not trying to say that everybody here should believe exactly the same way I do and do things exactly the same way I do, blah, blah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying what it meant to me was something really special and kind of stern, kind of kind of out there. But, you know, um, he said that he would he wanted us either hot or cold. But he, if we were lukewarm, he'd spit us out of his mouth or puke it out of his mouth, as it's um, translated to by some translations. Anyways, um, to me, that, that meant a lot because, I mean, I don't know that I'm a... Bad, I'm not a bad person or anything. I'm not like falling on my face. I'm not a drug addict. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not, there's a lot of things you know that you can fall into or whatever. I'm not any of those things. But I do think that 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 spoke to me because I started thinking, okay, what is it that I, you know, where could I be closer? Well, you know what? I'm not reading my Bible enough. I'm not. I'm not living my life the way I should enough. Um, it's like there's a little piece of me that holds back, and. Um, I don't know why that is. I didn't even realize that that's a thing until just that moment. And just a, a common, no ordinary thing like getting a piece of bread caught in your throat. And um, it just spoke volumes. I mean, I, I'm still like kind of not shaky, but like tingly all over thinking that because I could feel it. I knew I knew when the, when the message got to my brain, it also got to my heart. I knew when it happened and it was really cool. So saying all that, because I want you to, to think about yourselves, okay? This is, um, it's not, it's not just about, um, it's not just about living a Christian life, okay? That's, I mean, that's awesome. It's awesome when you become a Christian and it's a good thing for you to be a Christian, but it's not, you don't just get a little bit of God. You, you should take them all in, you know? Just get, because people tend to, myself included, give a whole lot to God, you know, really put their heart and soul into God, it, but there's just oftentimes a little bit of something that, that we don't 
I don't know if it's because we're afraid or because we're lazy or what the story is, but it's like we don't completely, you know, devour and be a part of, and it's like we just don't go that far. And there's just that little crumb that we haven't taken in yet, that little piece of, you know, serving God that we just haven't got there. Anyways, that's what it meant to me, and I thought it was pretty amazing. I felt inspired. I felt it was really cool, you know. So, um, to me, this whole day has been amazing. I went, um, I went back to my home church, and I brought two of my buddies with me, and I love them both. They're really cool guys, and um, I know they love me back. And, and it just, it was really cool for my first live service back at my home church for my these guys, my buddies, to go with me. It made it easier for me. It made it easier for them because they wanted to get back in church too. So it's like, um, you know, it could have been an anxious morning. In fact, I had anxiety before I left home, um, just because, just because the time, how long it's been, or whatever. But then I want to tell you this one thing. It's just it's something that happened. I have a friend at church who mentored me, who helped me grow, who helped me be stable. He was a, he was a, he listened when I was feeling a lot of feels about what was going on in my groups and, and ministry and he's just a great guy um, he's been a missionary in Australia and um, his kids are stuck there because of quarantine but um, he's home now I don't know the whole story I didn't, I didn't get the whole story but um, didn't have time but it was really nice to see him and he came over to me I didn't even see him until he was right there and he he, you know, he would have given me a hug but I didn't stand up um, but shook my hand. It was a really good hug, um, you know, hand hug, you know, like both hands. And um, it's great to see him. It's great. And the, his eyes just sparkle. He's got Jesus all over. It's, he's just a really great guy. And I really needed that. Just his smile and his talking to the guys that were with me and talking to me um, was a part of my boost today. It made me feel really good. And um, then I saw I saw a guy that um, I love him like crazy, but something happened between us and, and I don't even really know how to describe that I'm just gonna say something happened between us and, and um, there were hurt feelings and a whole bunch of things and um, when I saw him I didn't even remember the thing I, I didn't I didn't remember any of that I just like hey how are you doing da, da, da. Um, and that's as far as I went but that's after I took communion and I'm sitting there I'm like Oh man, the last time I talked to him was, they were not nice words, you know. The last time I talked to him, he, I, I let him feel that I was not who I say I am. And you know, however that happened, I, I'm not gonna say, cause I, I don't really know. I mean, I'm sure that I'm, I'm responsible too. I just don't really know what I would have done differently or whatever, but he let me, I mean, like I went up to him and I said, dude, do you still love me? And, um did and it was really cool it's just a moment you know what I'm saying I I don't think that ever that there should be anything that should keep you from being uh, who you're supposed to be to your, your your buddies your friends your brothers in Christ whatever you should you should be you should be able to overcome anything and I think today was a first step back at that too. So forgiveness, taking all of God in, and wow, it was just really cool. I, I can't explain. I wish I could. Um, I'll just say I'll just say it was an awe time. It was just awesome. I was just awe struck at how just it really moved me. It blessed my heart, and I, I know it blessed other people, it blessed the guys I was with. And um, it's really cool. So thank God. Praise God. I, I love my people at my home church, Watermark. And um, really good to be home. Really good to be home. And, um, you know, God bless you, Kyle and Jarek. I love you guys. So glad you came with me today. And um, I'm just really excited. Praise God. You know, I love all of you people. Have a great day. Bye.